All right, I want to show you guys what I'm working on. This is my uh, Honda CT70. Stripped it down to the frame. Um, quite easy. Took the whole thing down to the frame. In about 45 minutes, there's not much to it. The original Honda motor. Not much of this is going to be used again. There's a gas tank. Probably the only thing I'm going to use is the frame. This little headlight shell, which was a little small for that year. I'm going to get rid of that put another uh, uh, Speedo in there that goes up a little bit higher. I'm going to use the frame. I'm going to use the central wheel hubs. And that one, that one. And uh, what else? And that headlight shell. That's probably about it. I don't even think I'm going to be using these foot controls. Motor's going. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this thing up real good. Probably have it sandblasted. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to repaint it in that factory color. It's got some real ugly factory welds that came from Honda. This is a 1971 H model. So I'm probably going to grind down some of those ugly welds. Maybe use a little bit of filler. Maybe file all this stuff nice and straight. This has been banged up over the years. It's going to be all new bearings. I'm going to put a, either a 150 or 160cc single in there. It's going to have an adjustable aluminum swing arm. Uh, gas shocks in the rear. There's a front end kit for about 300 bucks. It's an inverted front end that... Uh, comes with a uh, single piston caliper brake for the front and your uh, master cylinder. Uh, Going to get a different exhaust, probably high pipe, maybe carbon fiber. There's also another one you can get that'll go underneath the motor, kind of like a Buell exhaust. It's going to be a cafe racer seat and uh, I don't know if I'm going to go with ace bars or Probably something real low, like two-inch rise, little superbike bars. Um, when the bike was assembled, I could pick it up. I'd probably say it was about 130 pounds. And after all the steel that's coming off, because that swing arm's heavy, so are those wheels. That front end's heavy too. As soon as all that stuff's off of there, I'm and and all the aluminum stuff goes on there. It wouldn't surprise me if this thing weighs 100 pounds when I get done with it. The um, little 150s only make about 17 horsepower and not much torque, but it'll be able to do about 70. And uh, the new suspension and everything, it's stable. There's another guy that made one. I think there's only one other one, what I'm doing. I'll, I'll post a video of that. Nice looking little cafe racer just to play with. This frame is uh, pressed steel construction. It's a little, gonna be a little mini bike. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys what I was up to. Not working on a Beal right now. I'm gonna do this. Get up. It'll probably take me about three months to get everything together. It was real simple back then. Look at this wiring harness. That's the wiring harness. Nothing to it. But that's gotta go because uh, the new motor's 12 volt, so everything's gotta go to 12 volt. Um. Really won't cost that much, probably about a little over a grand, maybe 1400 And got the bike for free. It was my dad's uh, my dad's bike. He was the original owner, 1971. But it's going to be a fun project. The original motor. Nice. Doesn't weigh anything. I bet you that's about 35-pound motor. And that's with the foot controls. 160s are about the same weight. Cast iron cylinder, ain't that something? Look at the little bat. Look at this little six volt battery it came with. That's the original battery from 1971. You don't need a battery to run with it though. It's kickstart. You just have to make a connection and it'll run. But I'll probably put a battery in it anyway. Keep the lights from dimming while you're sitting there at idle. 
But uh, yeah, cool. All right, guys. 